Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for the final, final episode of Stationeers. In today's episode I would like to paint the outside of the house. I've already done the inside and I'm gonna show you with a little tour what we have and I'm also gonna post the link to the Steam Workshop in case you want to travel around this world yourself. More or less everything should be working now, I've done also some fixing in between the episodes. Anyways, let's have a look in here and I'm just presuming that, you know, some of the episodes you might have missed and you don't know everything about the base. Right here we have our biomaker in order to get some plants in, some eggs, if we need to start the chicken coop, etc. We have our beacon right here which is of course hooked up and then the transportable ground penetrating radar. The next thing we have right here is our power, our maximum power, 24% at the moment, so I think we can have around 16 megawatts or so, but we are at the moment recovering. This is my clock and uh, the clock has been quite out of control for some reason. So right now we have uh, midnight and you can see for some reason it just goes into crazy mode with the decimal points. What can you do? You can uh, see we have uh, the power room here filled with five power stations and we have our solar panels on the roof which I'm gonna show you once we paint the roof. I've done everything here in red. The entire floor is brown in the attempts of making it look a little bit like wood or so and of course the first layer with blue and then I left it white. The ceiling is done with black. If we have a look at here, this is all black and nice and beautiful. We have our battery stations and here I have all of the different systems. This is responsible for the greenhouse, we have the chickens, they have their own circuit, the filtration system for the gases and last but not least we have the crafting unit. So this is leading all the way over here. This stacker was supposed to be temporary but I'm just gonna leave it here for now and here we come into the crafting room with my automatic smelting area. We can input stuff right here and it's gonna be automatically activated and the results come out right there. I installed this, uh, what is this called, a transformer because I had problems with broken cables once I launched an update. But apparently that was not necessary, it was just some kind of error that happens sometimes when you update. I have everything important in terms of crafting right here, my fabricator, my computer, we have three of the crafting machines and the rest is actually on the top right here, we have two more. I can actually disable this, we're gonna need that in order to get more spray paint. So I had to get my iron and put it in here. Anyways, we have also a recycling machine and the centrifuge. However, the centrifuge at the moment isn't working, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Some more storage space, then here we actually have the portable tank that is automatically being filled by the waste gases that are produced from the smelting systems down below. So every now and then when this is full I can take it over and fill up my gas system with it. Right here we have a little viewing area to the greenhouse, so that's pretty good. And this locker is also temporary, I guess. Right here I have an extra way to get into the hallway and even out of the base if I want to. Next up we have our gas room, which of course is color-coded to the max. They've even made it possible to now paint the filtration system. I, I think that wasn't possible a couple of episodes ago. Anyways, we have our oxygen right here, we have water, we have uh, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, volatiles and last but not least pollutants. Everything I can grab from these canisters. We have an enable switch for these pressure regulators, so if I enable this then the canisters are being filled up. You can see at the moment the numbers are going down a little bit. And this way I always have access to oxygen or my jetpack fuel if I want to. We can uh, disable this here. I have an extra switch right here which does the same thing because when I start smelting a couple of things then I also want to be able to output all my waste gases into these tanks. Here we also have a system in order to automatically do all of the alloys. Well, not automatically, that is exaggerated, but I always have a little bit of gas mixture here and I can just enable this volume pump in order to get the correct amount of kilopascals that I want. If I redid the system, I would also add a console which actually shows me the pressure. Of course, all the rooms are painted and black on the ceiling. Same thing right here with my chicken coop. This is the next thing that we've built. And we have some pressure for, let me see, I should maybe rename these guys, but one is for oxygen and the other one is uh, probably nitrogen? I totally forgot. 
but I can easily fill this area up with the necessary oxygen. I can put in a couple of fertilized eggs, which I do have somewhere around here. I think in these cartons I have the eggs. Let's open that up. Yeah, look at that. Three of them. And then right here, I probably have a full one. Perfect. These eggs are a little bit weirdly placed in this carton. <laughs> Anyways, I'm able to uh, create a bunch of chickens, they will lay eggs, and I can uh, simply press this button in order to push everything into these chutes, and then they are coming out here. So I can grab them. On the top right here we have our greenhouse, which uh, is the last thing we've built, I believe. We have a pressure system and a temperature system, everything works more or less automatically here once I enabled the system. I can even uh, close this room right here and I can start planting a couple of things, then I can get out of this room, put all of the air that is in this room back and therefore leave this room without wasting any gases. I'm not going into details with the explanations because that's what the series was all about. If you only want to watch this episode, then that just doesn't make sense to me. So the tour is going to be rather quick. I believe we're actually already done with the inside here. There's just the solar panels on the outside. And of course, everything that is logic and circuits are hidden in the walls. And I'm not going to open them up in order to show you. But believe me, there are hundreds and hundreds of modules. At the moment, I'm struggling a little bit with the power, so it would be worth adding a couple more solar panels. So if we look here, man, Chapak Low, are you freaking kidding me? However, that is no problem with my system. I just need to grab, where's my jetpack? Right here, propellant. We only have 105 kilopascals. I can grab that, exchange it with my other tank, and there we go. We have a full jetpack again. I love it. Good, let's get out of here on top of the roof so we can see the roof is entirely finished. We have a little bit of electronics sticking out, actually way more down here. If we look at that, we can see all of the pipes and radiators in order to make this greenhouse possible. I also got a bunch of pollutants here so we can regulate the temperatures. Next up, you can see my solar panel array. I believe I would have to add about five more at the moment in order to always be at 100% at the end of the day. But yeah, we will see about that. So now it's probably time to start painting some of the outside here. What do we want to do with this? I don't really know. But let's see what kinds of colors we have here. I have a couple of colors left. Uh, we definitely want some red in there. So let's maybe start with that. We could do something like a white cross with red surroundings. That would also be the Switzerland flag. There we go. Uh, don't think that's uh, particularly visible. <laughs> yeah, maybe if we added another wall or another door right here. I'm not sure if I can fit a door, but it might be worth trying. There we go. And I messed up a little bit. Ah, Actually, you can see that it is a Swiss cross. I can totally see it now. Let's grab some white as well. And then uh, I think we are done with red. Black, we're gonna need black. Blue, I always like blue. So let's uh, paint that and we should be all right. I just need to add a door, but this is clearly a Swiss flag or two Swiss flags. Staircase, blue, I don't think that's a good idea. Let me get rid, I need more stuff. I need more inventory space first and foremost. I'm gonna grab red and green this time. We need to do this one red and then we are good, I guess. Let's try the staircase as well. Yeah, that might actually make sense here in this particular case. And I'm going to do the inside here red as well. Okay, nice. Let's leave the red right here. Go away. And we are starting to paint a little bit of green. Now, I would like this to be not extremely ridiculous, but it, it might actually turn out a little bit rainbowy. So uh, let me think, maybe we could do a nice pattern with blue and green. So we go something like that, back down, back down and up again. You know what, I think for this wall and maybe the wall on the other side, it's going to be a good idea. But right here, I would like to have something else. I think this is going to be green because it is like the greenhouse part. So maybe let's uh, paint this all green. We're going to need lots more green. Do I have some inventory space somewhere? Maybe here. Yeah, I have something in my jumpsuit. There's also an access card. My guess is that it's for multiplayer. Let's see, green, you go here. I'm gonna take some more green and this is a blue. Yeah, let's get started with blue. So I would like to do this entire part here with green because of the greenhouse. 
maybe up to this point and maybe on top of here actually as well. So I probably don't have enough green. Yeah, I can only do up to this point. And oh, oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Was this really necessary? Do I have some tape somewhere? I think, yeah, right there. So let's use it. Oh no. Ah, other mouse button. So I guess we could at least get started with the blue. Everything else right here, I would like to be in blue. And I'm not sure how that's gonna look. Could be an idea. Let's back up a little bit. Uh, it's probably not the best I've ever come up with, but I'm accepting it. So now we just need green, which we don't have. We have a little bit of black. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and craft some green and blue. I've already set it to black, so blue cannot be far away. Let's craft about five of these. And I have an extra black one here. That's good to know. Okay, that's enough. Stop, stop. Now I need green. I need a couple of you. Let's go ahead and do the other side with the same pattern, actually. I need to see where I start. I think I started at the bottom left here, didn't I? Yes, okay, that's exactly what we're gonna do on the other side. I'm actually faster without the jetpack. So we're gonna start right here and do the same thing. And there we go, we get up to this point and that's fine. Rest, I'm gonna fill up with blue. There we go, this side of the building is done. I... <laughs> I don't like it too much, but it's gonna be all right. I mean, with these basic colors, you cannot do too much because you have to paint an entire panel, right? I could make it a little bit more classy instead of uh, childish. I don't find a better word for this, but it's good enough. It's gonna be good enough. Good, this side right here, I actually would like to have a black layer with a blue on top. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Just gonna paint the top row blue and I will have to not fall, come on! So up to there, we're gonna have a blue, the bottom row is gonna be black and this one here needs to be green still, something like that. And mm, I guess we're gonna do this one here as well in green. Ah, two more I need. What a shame. Also, let's uh, grab these two iron sheets that are still missing. Or steel sheets, I should say. Do we have something here? Iron sheets? C come on. <laughs> Cannot be serious. I need two steel sheets. Oh man, I really hope they're gonna do something about this fabricator. Just give me a freaking search menu. Steel sheets 2, please. In the meantime, we are gonna grab more... Blue? Do I need more blue? Uh, I don't think so, but I'm gonna need green and I'm gonna need black. <gasps> I have no steel here. Where's my steel? Is it there? I think it's here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you go right there. Please, start crafting. Finally. Okay, let's see. We need steel sheets. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, that's good. I'm glad I only needed those and not the entire frames or so. That's fine, and now we swap that out in order to do the bottom row here in black. And then I'm pretty happy. Good, so we've already done all of the walls. All we need to do is the top, of course. Now, let me see, we probably want to do this in green as well. Everything that has to do with the greenhouse, we just do green. Maybe up to this point. Uh, how? Yeah, it only reaches up to this point, so that's fine. That's everything I'm gonna paint green. The solar panel row, I think I want to make black. How far will this paint last? Uh, not quite for everything, so we need another black. Then, what do we want to do with the rest? I'm kind of uh, tempted to do blue, just because it's my favorite color. Or we could go for something entirely different. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do all of the windows in black, but then the rest we're gonna do in a color we uh, don't have represented at the moment. So let's see, uh, do I still have black? I thought I saw black. 45, that's not gonna be enough. Let's see, black, give me one more of you. And then we check out what color we didn't use yet. I think there is orange, though orange could look bad. Actually, it would fit with black, everything fits with black. Oh, khaki, that's intriguing, uh, we didn't use that. Isn't that uh, some kind of a green, like a dark green? Let me see, uh, can I, I paint you? Ah, no, I don't like that, it's like a washed out green. Orange, pink, purple, oh, purple. That's probably gonna be it. White, yellow is the last one. Yeah, let's do purple, man. I'm gonna need at least three of them or so. So let's see this happen. All the windows, as I said, I'm gonna do in black. There we go. And of course the rest of the solar panels. And I just have enough, though I don't need to paint these, right? So now I would say we're gonna fill this up with purple. And it actually does look nice, more or less. 
the colors are just way too extreme. I mean, the materials don't look believable anymore, in my opinion. It's kind of, it's too perfect. There's no texture to it or anything. Uh, I kind of wish I could just go down here. I think I'm gonna fulfill myself this wish by doing that. <laughs> Good, give me another purple spray paint. Thank you very much. We go out here one more time and finish the job. And it just turned daytime, so we will be able to admire our work. I'm not sure how long this episode is gonna be, but it's just the length it's, it's going to be. It might be a shorter one. Okay, nice. Look at that. We are done. I would say let's get rid of the menu. Ah, gotta appreciate it. Let me see. What is a good angle to do the screenshot? Maybe with a little bit of sun? Yeah, let's do two shots for the thumbnail. One from the outside. That was a good one. And then one from the inside. Which room best represents the paint job that we've done? I mean, this room here is a little bit crazy, but it could be a good example for painting. So this is gonna be the second half of my thumbnail. But yeah, guys, I kind of feel we are... Where did this bell come from? Hold the phone. Oh, I exchanged my paint. Yeah, what I was just about to say is I'm going to prepare this world for the upload, which means I'm also going to close all of the doors. Let me see, where do we want to start? There are so many of them. We want everything nifty and tidy before we upload it. This door is closed, so let's close this one here as well. We got a door right there. Close, close. And we got a door up here as well. Let me actually get out of here. Uh... We got a door to the gas room, a door to the power room, that's fine, and a power door low. for the freaking entrance. Of course, my power is low at the moment, but I think, well, I have a nuclear battery, so that means I still have like half an hour. Anyways, guys, I think at this point we're gonna wrap it up. I thank you so much for watching this series. This has definitely been the last episode. If you're interested in checking out the world for yourself, you will find the link in the description to the workshop item. But with that out of the way, have a great time. Thank you for everything and hopefully I'm gonna meet you in other videos. Have a great time. Bye-bye.